Hello, welcome to Project Zomboid. What will you do when the dead walk? Today is July 4th, 9 a.m. Our character is Kenneth Kniff from Connecticut. Knox County's in disarray. All the conventional channels of human order have broken down. Um... Out of the few ragtag lone survivors, clannish behaviors and hierarchies emerge. Today we join Ken. It's time to gather the last of humanity and jump ship. Run out the door and head for the hills. We start at zero hour, the clock is ticking, and we suit up for disaster. The time has come, we sneak out, grab whatever we can while we still have the time. Anything we can take with us, anything to defend ourselves, to prolong life, or a final toast, something wicked this way comes. And it's time to get out of here, gather up the last dregs of humanity and escape. Fortify somewhere safer. We steal away. The first step is going to be self-reliance. There's a lot to handle. Here's one another survivor. He won't make it alone, but some are overconfident, and we make our way down the block. Self-reliance will go only so far. We need allies. We scour the local surroundings for useful tools and items. Outside, it's a war zone, but now we've got a water bottle, a bag, bandages, and a makeshift weapon. Self-reliance is key. It's time to get out of here, or we'll be trapped in a dead end. It's gonna be a challenge to get out of here at all. Might as well make myself useful before I start recruiting survivors. This neighborhood's looking overrun, and more of them come by the second. Right over the fence. Sleuth will save us. That's all we've got left. Ken may be out of shape, but he's also very organized. We'll need to eat to bring up our weight and get back up to full strength. But time's of the essence. It's already halfway through the first day. We'll need literature, skill books, and anything we can get our hands on. This neighborhood is rover run. And we hit the ground running, making our search. When the coast is clear, we use the opportunities. Where the dead have entered, then we can follow. We let them do the heavy lifting, and we follow in their wake. This is just what we need to get out of town. This place looks pretty overrun, and I don't want to stay here any longer. Tools, attachments, everything we'll need to get out of town. We soak up all the knowledge we can in the garage, and as luck would have it, we chance upon a few useful tools. Some takedowns. We break in a few residences, and as luck would have it, we happen upon a big hiking bag. Doesn't look bad either. We chance upon a fallen survivor. But it's no good for now. We can't use this yet, but we can take it with us. That night, the neighborhood's in disarray. We chance upon another survivor, and it's the end for him too. Everything we touch dies. There's always death in the wake. We flee to seemingly the last residence. I think the neighborhood is overrun. It's time to hide and stay hidden for a while. As luck would have it, on the second day, we happen upon a car with a key. It's been a lot of searching, but I've finally found one of these things. It's not my dream car, but it is in great condition. The gas isn't quite full either, but, well, it's just a matter of adding some to the tank, throwing that in the trunk, and then gathering up the last of the survivors to make it worth leaving this place. Conflict isn't so worthwhile here. I'd rather spend the time making friends, but it looks like there aren't that many left to be made. It's time to leave this place. I know exactly where I'm headed anyway. Got a live one. Come on, join me. Will you join me? Ah, uh, she won't. You just keep bugging her. She doesn't have too many options left. It's too bad she didn't join me. Oh, what can I say? On to the next one. Now we'll drive gingerly. We do want to keep this car in good shape. We've got a long way to go. And there's a lot of- Oh, that's my dream car. Well, they'll have a lot more of those where I'm going. This is probably going to be the first of many, but let's see. Does it have what I want? It does. Oh, this is even better. All right, matters just changed a lot. Found ourselves a Humvee. <laughs> I know it's not in great condition, but I'd take a Humvee that's not in great condition over... Oh, this thing's in terrible condition. But it's so cool. There we go. This area is just about cleared. Oh! <laughs> nope, it died. Alright. Uh, better find that out now than later. They'll have plenty of those things where we're going. There's a lot to this town, but... I've gotta leave this place behind. There's somewhere much better we're going. Fort Redstone. Way off to the west. I may not be a fast driver, but what I lack in driving speed, I make up for in, uh, real careful turning. I may not have gotten my dream car, but I, there might be ten of them where we're going next, and a whole lot more beyond cars. You see, though you don't see them out here, by now I'll bet there's hundreds of groups of ragtag survivors lone wolfing it or going at it in groups in the wilderness, moving across the map and looking for a place to take up their residence. Oh, what's this? Whole school bus. Maybe this thing's in good condition. We could take this up. Looks like we've got a few trucks over here to negotiate. Let's check this thing out. Probably won't even take this, but I still just want to see. Looks like this other wreck is in the way. We'll have to push it out with our own car. I didn't really pick this for its towing abilities, but I guess it'll work for now. Let's find out what this thing can do. 
Could take out the window as well. All right, well, no key, but it was worth a shot anyway. Maybe someday we could hotwire something like this. For now, it's just back on the road. Finally, we get to Rosewood, and we make a stop. There's a lot to see in Rosewood, and plenty you can do. And what I mainly came here for, something that would make my life a lot easier. Time to head out where we could find more of these. Here we go. The police station was sure to have them. Assault rifle cops. It'll wear out this car, but that's why I have a backup. Probably enough. All right, there's one, two, three, and four, five. And last but not least, my real target. There's one, two, and this is what I needed. Belt with front pockets, we'll grab that. That should give us more storage space. And just give me everything else in here. Throw all that in the trunk. It looks like some of the NPCs are not so friendly over here. I'm gonna have to beat it before we can even get anyone on our side. Oh, you, come with me. Ah, please, I can help you. What about you? Oh, all right, we got a group member, our first one. Aaron, you need a weapon. All right, let's get out of here. It's just not safe. Uh, overrun. And my car is all filled up. Hey, Aaron. I don't know, uh, YOLO. I'm out of here. Oh, that's too bad. That's another one. We gotta beat it. There's more showing up by the second. Ah, uh, much better. Back out with my three-wheeler. Oh, somebody's shooting. Too bad, we've gotta beat it. At least it's quiet by my old car. Oh, that's a relief, actually. A little worried it would have gotten hot over here. You can just kind of unload everything into the trunk. It's still in great condition. And we got quite a haul here. However... We'll stay the night up here. I want to arrive at dawn where we're going. And so we'll use the last of the daylight hours to sneak over to the grocery store. Where we're going, there won't be as much food as there is here, but there is still good stuff. Everything's locked. Oh, made it in. That's just what we needed. Any kind of food we can get. May not be much, but it'll save us time later. Just what I needed. <sighs> and no time left. Here they come. I'm out of here. We made it to safety. <sighs> Almost lost him. Alright. Well, looks like I'm sleeping in my car tonight. Thought I was gonna get a hotel. Oh well. We made it out of there. We may be tired, but I'm sure somewhere on the road we can rest. And like a fat kid, I eat in my car. We just have to pull over and sleep for tonight. We'll wake up tomorrow at dawn. I'm exhausted. Everything should be safe and I'll have a warning if I am attacked. Alright, we made it till dawn. Just before dawn, actually, and with these summer mornings, the sun should be coming up early. Time to get a quick meal and set right out on the road. We're gaining weight rapidly again, this is great. We found some tactical neck armor. I think it fits. And if it saves us from getting bit and scratched. And now we have a firearm, but no magazine. We make our way through the dense morning fog. Early morning summer fog. Nearly at an empty tank of gas now. Sight of zombies. Here we arrive, Fort Redstone. It's ours for the taking. If we can take it, that is. Uh, while I'm wary of the fog, it also might help us get inside. There's bound to be a lot of them in here, but it's something worth taking. Here are the gates, but we don't have a sledgehammer to open it with. They're after us, and I'm on my way out. This won't be easy, but if I can find a secret way to slip in, I'll be in luck and I'll be safer. Sure enough, an opening in the fence, right in the back. Now the coast isn't clear, but clear enough will have to be good enough for us right now. This place is like a pinata waiting to be broken open, but there's a lot of them. Ooh, that one has a very nice backpack. This backpack is mine. One of the best in the game. All right, I think in terms of storage, we're like fully kitted now. We've got as much storage space as we can possibly get. We may be locked out, but there's other ways inside. But I think I see an opening. Looks like I just went through reality. How did the- all right, I'm not gonna question it. Right, now we just go look for the guns. Looks like we found the barracks. There's plenty in here, but there's better areas. Ah, here we go, mess hall. And the power's still on, too. Found to be a kitchen. Yep, I was right. I had a gun on- or is that a- oh. Jeez, that scared me. Yep, more pistols. And this is only the tip of the iceberg. This place has got a lot to it. The lecture hall, and I think this is it. There's two more doors to go. One, the armory right here. So many locked doors, but it's worth it. This is everything we need. This could be the center of our base. From here we fortify everything you need for years. What I need is this. Here we go. This is a lifetime's worth of weapons. I think we found one that we needed. All right, we found the magazines. Get ready, the weapons. All right, well, here goes nothing. One. That choke didn't do nearly as much as I was hoping. There goes two. Three. I think I could like this a lot. I don't even have any training. And go. Again, and again, and again. Oh, this is sick. It's amazing what modders can do with this game. And I think I just found my new ride. May not be the Humvee, but... Ah, no key. Uh, more magazines. Here's where we'll officially set up. Lights on. Taking back the base. One at a time. There it goes. Well, the choke must be doing something. I mean, I'd expect more. You know, you could work on that door for me. 
You stay there. A little reloading. Never hurt. Time to defend this armory. This is our new home, and I'm gonna defend it, and I won't let them take it. I'll scour every hall. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes, that's what I'm doing. Aviators. Don't mind if I do. We want to take back the military base, we've got to do it one section at a time. I don't want a ghillie suit, but I do want my car back. And if we had one of those Humvees, this would be a lot easier. Because right now, it's one by one. Line by line. Ready. Begin. Really can't get enough of the sound effects here. That'll do. And that will too. Very effective. I think we're gonna empty the base next. Right, well, if I'm reading my map right, the vehicles should be over here. Yep, that's definitely a vehicle. Time to clear out the gas station. There's a lot I've brought with me. But I think I have all the ammo to clear this place out by today. It's a matter of managing panic now. Fortunately, it doesn't matter at all with the shotgun. Oh, Jesus Christ. If guns were this strong in the main game, I'd play a lot more. All right, we're tapped out. We gotta go back. Time to beat it while we're ahead. And we really did a lot to this place. But zombies don't actually respawn here. So once they're dead, they're gone. Well, unless if they migrate back over, which there's a... There's actually a pretty good chance of that. I'm gonna need a lot of boxes. Sip of water, too. All right, now we're surrounded. Just gotta hold them off. Wait till you see the whites of their eyes. Don't panic, either. I might panic. A car. A car is all I wanted. Man, look, all of the barracks are just torn open. Every single window. I can't even use them for heating and insulation anymore. Oh well, I guess it's just mowing down from here. I'd recommend, uh, not doing this, ever. Just take a used car. You don't need a new one. I don't quite understand how the spread or range of this thing works, but I'm not gonna argue with it. It's working pretty well for me. Saved myself there. That was two boxes of shells. Alright, prepare for the worst, and the best is still yet to come. Fortunately, I'm pretty good at staying calm. I think this is actually the last of them here. Alright, now we're really out. Seven boxes of shotgun shells. I'm gonna say it'll take about nine or ten to clear the way to the Humvees. I'd still find that to be worth it. You've still only just barely scratched the surface of what's even in this armory. And that's only in terms of shotgun shells. My god. This thing really is... it is majestic. This entire garage is completely filled with car parts as well. We're rich. We just need food. This one doesn't have a key either. Though we do have gas pumps. We could get power running here for infinite gas. And infinite power as well. It's difficult to tell what's even going on here in the way of pathfinding. Do we have the key to this? No dice again. And while I could search the corpses, I just don't think it would. I don't think that's ever gonna happen. We've still got the airfield and the hangars and nothing in them. Another jeep. Take a look. No dice again. Sad day. Not a single car with a key, not a single Humvee. And a second armory. Wowzers. Th yeah, this is a whole stockpile. Jesus. Gas cans as well. And again, no dice. I think we found all the secret stockpiles too. And a secret radio room. Well, it's not that secret, it's just a radio room. It's been a big day though. No luck on the vehicles. No sign of a radio contact either. But at least I can sleep in this chair. Don't mind if I do. It's gonna be fun to try out over the next couple of days. Ah, this one looks just like me. Just a couple more zones to clear out. Oh, looks like I kicked up the hornet's nest. I can feel the power. You know, I take back that thing I said about one at a time. It's better than any Humvee I ever had. Just keep counting to seven. Just keep counting to seven. It'll be over in a few minutes. Close the door. Walk myself into this one. Yeah, that's right. Come, come right this way. Never have brought you home with me. You know what? I'm thinking that we've done our good deed here for today. And as they come on me from all sides, I can't help but feel like that this was a trip very well spent. Congratulations, Kenneth Kniff. The base will soon be ours. Yeah, this is like some scene out of Full Metal Jacket or something. Somebody's watch alarm is going off? I think that might be the last of them. That was a lot. But now it's- yeah, somebody's watch alarm is definitely going off. Of all the things- Okay, just a totally normal walk through all of this. A car, a car. My kingdom for a car. Let's finish emptying out hell. Okay, I think I'm done here now. Oh! Look, a key. Right there, it was there all along. Wowzers, that's the key. Bohog 244. Yep, we're saved is- Oh, wrong car. This must be for the trailer. Oh, this is the trailer. Charming. Yep, all right. Got myself a- Oh, so many options now. All right. Well, that was just about literally 24 hours worth of shooting. Oh, here it is. Well, I may not have a Humvee, but I have a sports car now. Uh, or whatever this is, just uh very tough looking car. So that makes two cars. Wowzers, two cars. Plus the one we had two and one. That gives us three cars. God, 
now I gotta know what is what is in this building? This is this is like the building to be in. Oh my god, there's even twice as many still in here. Oh, it's because it's three floors worth of them, so they stack up. Interesting. I mean, not interesting at all, mostly just a menacing truth to behold. Yeah, I'll be back later. It's almost midnight. All right, home sweet home again. Oh god. It's really blinding when the lights come on. Oh baby, a triple. That's 1,431 zombies now. It's time for dinner. I even have one- there's even one in the kitchen. Well, let's eat what's in the fridges first, because this will be the first stuff to spoil as soon as the power's cut. Oh god, that one really- I'd been through a lot there. It looks like some foods have already started to rot in the apocalypse. Not really the first on my list of priorities, though. Fortunately, the fridges are still working and we can save some of this stuff. Looks like they just had fresh imports, too. It's time to drink this bourbon now and go to sleep. It's been a long day. Kenneth Kniff from Connecticut. Impressive. Well, that's a lot for one day. I need to get away from all these dead bodies or I'll get sick. It's either going to be the world's worst corpse cleanup or, uh, or just a five-day vacation away from here until a few rains have come. A little bit more clearing, but we're thinning out the hordes yet again. I think we're getting even faster at reloading. Yep, that's a definite. All right, you're the last car I haven't checked. One way in, and... Oh, dice, that's the last car. Well, it looks like we're stranded here, just as I suspected. I went through almost a thousand shotgun shells. Three rounds of cleaning NWD-40. What is inside of this place? And now I gotta know. There's just a bunch trapped under the staircase. Medical ward. This place looks just as full as that other building. And yet I think it had 20 times more spawns. Oh, I don't like the look of this. Yeah, they're streaming in. They broke out of every single wing in this building. Still got one more floor. What is this? What is the secret? Showers. Yeah, this looks a little sus. Well, that's what we're responsible for. Looks like we found the, uh, medical examination and what appears to be experimentation rooms up here. Kind of nervous because I'm still hearing a lot and I don't really know where they are. I'm cornered, but now we know more. And knowledge is the ultimate liberation. But I think I'm content to just retrace my steps and get out of here. We've made it up to the roof and helipad and, well, that's an opening there. And it just feels good to be above it all for once. Up here, we've got a great view of everything, the whole base. I may even get my original car back. All right, well, so begin the adventures of Kenneth Kniff from Connecticut. We still need the survivors, but I think we have our place, and we have a whole armory and more at our disposal. Before I finish up, I just want to say thanks to my friend Ghoul King for inspiring this playthrough. He always does playthroughs kind of like this, so... I got inspired this time. We've been hoping for multiplayer zomboids, so we're still lying in wait to get more of that. Go check him out. Please make sure you check the mod list, because there's a lot I'm using here. We're also in the Build 41 beta. Again, check the description and comments. Survivors aren't in the game yet. This is a mod by Nolan Ritchie. A fantastic modder. All of the modders in here are incredible. In particular, Brita for all the weapons, and Paulo for much of the gear I'm using, and along with a few other helpful ones. I'll put my mod list below so you can check it out on the Steam Workshop if you want. Otherwise, a major thanks to my patrons. They are the gun cleaning kits that keep me going. And I can't thank them enough. And thanks to viewers like you. I hope you enjoyed. As always, I'm Ambiguous Amphibian. Until next time.